Philips Hue expanded its smart lighting lineup this summer with a bounty of new bulbs and fixtures, including several that are designed for use outdoors. Up first, a new outdoor version of the popular Philips Hue light strips. With the weatherproof design, Philips Hue's outdoor light strips are meant for your garden or for your patio, but the thick rubber surrounding the LEDs themselves means that they're a lot bulkier than the average indoor light strip. I tried to hide them under the railing here on the deck at the CNET Smart Home, and as you can see, they aren't exactly inconspicuous. Another problem with these lights, you can't cut them if they're too long for your needs like you can with the indoor light strips. You also can't purchase extensions to make them longer. The strips come in a 2 meter version for $90 and a 5 meter version for $160. If you need them to be any shorter or longer than either of those two lengths, you're out of luck. Also new, outdoor fixtures for your porch. Available in a couple of designs and starting at just 50 bucks, they're really just normal wired light fixtures that come packaged with a Philips Hue white bulb. I'd like them a lot better if they included a built-in Philips Hue motion sensor, but they don't. At any rate, those Hue white bulbs cost $15 each on their own and are already dampness rated, so feel free just to swap one into your old fixture instead. Philips also has two new color-changing lights for your lawn, these Kala pedestal lights and Lily spotlights. Both options daisy chain together to a weatherproof power supply and work just like other color-changing hue lights, and they're pretty easy to install too. Between the two, I like the Lily spots a lot better, especially if you like to go nuts with the decorations at the holidays. Just be prepared to spend though. A three Lily starter kit costs $280 with additional lights selling for 80 bucks each. Meanwhile, a one light Kala starter kit with the power supply costs $130 with additional lights selling for 90, so none of these are cheap. Worse yet, neither of them come with the Philips Hue Bridge, which is mandatory to control them. Unless those prices come down a bit, color me a little bit unimpressed.